Among the following reactions, which one is used to prepare N2 gas? Students, in this question, we are given with four reactions and we have to identify that in which reaction N2 is formed in the product. For that, we need to write the product for all the four reactions. Starting with number one, we have ammonium dichromate that is NH4 whole twice Cr2O7. When heated, it decomposed to give N2 water and Cr2O3. Moving to next, we have urea that is NH2CO, NH2 and water. When these two combines, the compounds are formed as NH4 whole twice CO3. Then we have ammonium sulfate that is NH4 whole twice SO4 plus Na OH. This gives ammonia that is NH3 plus water plus sodium sulfate that is Na2SO4 and the last we have NH4NO3. This when heated gives N2O and water. So student it is very clear that among the given reactions N2 is prepared on thermal decomposition of ammonium dichromate. That means the correct answer is option number one. Moving to next question students which is question number 72. Let's read the question. Which of the following carbohydrates cannot be hydrolyzed further to give simpler unit of polyhydroxyaldehyde or ketone? The options are sucrose, glucose, cellulose or starch. Students, for this question we need to know that monosaccharides cannot be further hydrolyzed. Among the given options, only glucose is a monosaccharide. That means glucose cannot be hydrolyzed further to give simpler unit of polyhydroxyaldehyde or ketone. On the other hand, sucrose is a disaccharide so can be further hydrolyzed and cellulose and starch both are polysaccharides that they can also be further hydrolyzed. So the correct answer for this question is option number two. Moving to next question students which is question number 73. Let's read the question. Glucose on reaction with Br2 water gives. Student I'm writing the reaction when glucose that is CHO, CHOH whole 4 CH2OH reacts with Br2 water. It is oxidized to gluconic acid which contains COOH group rather than CHO group. That means CHO group has been oxidized to COOH group. This is gluconic acid. That means the correct answer is option number one. Moving to next question students which is question number 74. Let's read the question. Which of the following statements is incorrect regarding lactose? Students, in this question we are given with four statements regarding lactose and we have to identify the incorrect one. Let's start with the first statement. Commonly known as milk sugar. Student, this is a correct statement as lactose is commonly known as milk sugar. Moving to next, it is a disaccharide. Student, this is also a correct statement. Moving to next, it is composed of beta D galactose and beta D glucose. Student, this is also a correct statement as lactose is formed by the linkage between C1 carbon of galactose and C4 of glucose. Moving to the last statement, it is a non reducing sugar. Student, this is an incorrect statement as a lactose is a reducing sugar. That means the correct answer for this question is option number four. Moving to next, which is question number 75. Let's read the question. Non-essential amino acid among the following is. The options are valine. Student, this is an essential amino acid. Next is leucine. This is also an essential amino acid. Moving to next, glycine. Student, glycine is a non-essential amino acid. Moving to last option, lysine. Student, this is also an essential amino acid. That means the correct answer is option number three. Moving to next question students, 